Alright guys, are you guys ready to save the vault? You better, because that's what we're gonna do. Alright, I'm sorry. Alright, let's take these bullets off the dead guy and another knife. And I'll put my brass knuckles. I'm sorry that, um, I have fraps and I can't record, um, cutscenes. But, I can describe them for you. I know that's not, a. Uh, it's not nearly as good as watching them for yourself, but you can look them up, I hate to say, but you can look them up yourself. That doesn't sound very professional, but this is my first Let's Play, so... Shut up. <laughs> anyway, um, I have beaten this game five times. I consider myself a guru. I know I how to do everything, and how to get everything. I'm just the best. <laughs> anyway. What's going on is, um... The Overseer, which is kind of like the monarch of the vault. Vault 13, right there. Has, um... We volunteered to go... And save the vault because the vault's water water purification chip is broken and they don't know how to make a new one so we need to go find another one and we have 150 days until the vault runs out of water I do know where the chip is obviously because I've beaten the game five times actually I've only beaten it four times I've beaten it um four times but um another character is at the power armor stage so, you know, once you get the power armor, there's really nothing stopping you from killing all the super mutants. Oh, man. I really don't want to buy die from these rats, but I need to kill them all if I want to get back into the vault. Um, if I die in any of these Let's Plays, then I'm just going to stop them right now, right then. I'm hoping to get through all Fallout, get all the Fallout games. Excluding Brotherhood of Steel, of course, because that game sucks. But um, po Fallout 1, 2, possibly Tactics, and Fallout 3 using the same character. But if um, if he dies, then of course I'm gonna I'm just gonna make a new one. Okay, I gained 11 hit points. It's a shame that I use a stim pack on rats, but you know I want to be very cautious. I don't want to, I don't want to die before I even leave the cave. Oops, I could have hit him again. That was an unnecessary loss of hit points. I don't really have to kill these rats, I think I can just, um, go to the world map and then come back to the cave. And I'll be able to go back into the vault. i actually try that, because... Um, if... I can either wait until midnight to get back in, or I think I can just go to the world map and walk back into the cave and they'll let me back in, so... We'll see. Also, have you seen that menu right there, that, um, the, the screen keeps turning black? That's a repainting problem that this game has. Um, we call it the blackout problem, us Fallout players. It's just a repainting problem. You can fix it by opening up like any of the menus, like the character screen. So if you see any menus being opened up, that's why. I'm just correcting the problem. Okay. I really don't want to use another stim pack, but... You know. Huh. No, I'm not good with guns. Another, another knife. Sure, let's use a stim pack. What difficulty am I playing it on? Hard, yeah, that's why. I usually play on normal. I I wanted to try um to play the game on hard. That's why um that's the character I was talking about. He's at the power armor stage. So I thought it'd be a, a test of my Fallout knowledge to play this game on hard. Oh, I didn't even see that right there. I'm gonna be playing all the Fallout games on hard. 
of all three, it's probably going to be the easiest. I, I might play Fallout Tactics, even though I really don't like that game. Because, um... Uh, I, I, I would like Fallout Tactics if it was, um... If it was, uh... Turn-based. But I don't think the action point system can work. In, uh, real-time... Gameplay, so... That's why I don't like that game. I don't like the combat. And that's pretty much all the game is. To get a nice story, you know, Vault Zero, that's that's fine. But... Okay, fine. Then I guess we have to wait until midnight. Okay, let me back in. First thing we're gonna do is go get um patched up by the doctor. Uh, I need help. Okay. I seem okay. What? Oh. Okay. I guess I do seem okay. Okay, what we're gonna do now? We'll go back to the second floor. Uh, later, when we return to the vault, because we get, we can get a 750 experience by convincing Teresa to stay. So um, yeah, let's get all these flasks. These help out a lot in the beginning of the game. I think it's o it's over 1,000 caps worth of flasks you can get here. You can just trade them with them with the Shady Sands residents and Mentats. Oh, good. And all I wasted was one day out of the 150 days to get back in here, so definitely worth it. And although I do know where the water chip is, I'm going to be playing it. I don't know if I said this already, but I'm going to be playing this game as if I don't know where it is. So, you know, I'm going to Vault 15 just to humor you, even though you can probably figure it out that it's not there, because I wouldn't give you the water chip in the First location. And if they did, there'd be a twist. You know, they wouldn't just tell you where it is and you go get it. Not in a Fallout game. Don't be silly. Okay, seven, I think, is science. Yes, science. Okay, let's get some experience. Wait, hold on. 500? Okay, let's see how much experience you get. Okay, 500. Oh, 350 experience. Not bad. Use science skill on the wall. Okay, we got a level. Doctor. Um, okay, what I'm gonna do is I think I'm gonna raise science to 40. So that I can um, go get some experience in Shady Sands. And also, science is just a, a good thing to have. You know, it's not like something you could tag, but not something you should tag, but it comes in handy. Like, it's a really it's a pain when you don't have it. And Doctor, just because I like Doctor. I did say I was going to level throwing. That'll come later, when we actually get grenades. Because flares, there's no point. Um, we could go talk to the Overseer, just to show you what he looks like. But, he won't give us any, um... Oops, I don't want to go in there, actually. I don't want to go through the chapel, putting my weapons away and everything. And we don't have high enough speech to get into there. I think we have, like, nine. Nine. That's where the the death claw uh, nesting ground is in Fallout 2. Poor Gunther. <laughs> Stupid enclave. Only people who have actually played the games are getting getting those jokes. Okay, let's close the door behind us so we don't contaminate the vault. All these people are up and around it. Uh, it's already noon. We spent 12 hours <laughs> just searching stuff? Okay. Maybe there's just like really long rides in the... in the elevators. <laughs> See, this one... It, um... I have a much less... I have a much um, lower chance of hitting people with it. 
And also there's knockback with melee weapons, I think. Or maybe there's just two-handed weapons. Two-handed melee weapons, but... Okay, we're going to Shady Sands. Don't want to go over there, that's where the super mutants are. Don't want to go south yet. So I just want to... I just want to trade. I just want to trade these flasks. <laughs> and then I can go to Jump Town. But I, I kind of do want to go to Vault 15, just because, you know, it's a good place to go at the beginning of the game. You can get that, um... Okay. Put that knife away. Okay. Seth. That looks some information. No, not really. I already know everything there is to know about this place. Okay. Okay, two flasks. Alright, good. Don't really need a rope, but yeah. I can go in for free. Okay, that's two of my flasks. Alright, let's talk to Katrina. Okay, tell me about yourself. My name's Katrina. She's like the um, the vault greeter. None of this stuff is important. I am gonna read them like important stuff, but this is just me talking to get experience. Okay, what do I do if I get hurt? A doctor, first aid skills, you know, just impacts, first aid kits. Okay, we're gonna get better equipment. Scavenge it off of dead bodies. Scavenge it. Just scavenge it in general. And uh, trade for it. Bartering. You know how to barter. It's just. Yeah, I'll show you. I'll show you what bartering's like. Oh, I did when I was trading with Seth. Wait, no. How am I talking to Seth, but I'm talking to her? That's odd. Okay. Oh. She has better stuff than Seth did. I have no use for them. Actually, I'm gonna keep one of them. Where's this vault of yours? Okay, yeah, I knew that already. Tell about this place. Um, there's the world. I don't think she tells you where Junk Town or the hub here. Nope. Good. Okay, that's all for now. Thank you. But I'm gonna keep one flask because it keeps you from dehydrating in the wasteland. You only lose like 10 HP when that happens, but it, it'll slow you down and, you know, I feel cool. Makes it more realistic if you travel with a flask. Okay, handbook. There's another one in here too. I think I only have three outdoorsman skill. Seven, negative seven. Dang. It will be three if I read this. Yeah, actually. Peasant can't trade with them. Peasants. Oh, I don't think so. At least. Yeah, you can only trade with the citizens, not the peasants. Citizen, yeah. The ones marked as citizens you can trade with. Okay. Welcome to Shady Sands. That's nice. Uh, sure. I'll give you a flask. Or maybe a flare. No. Flasks are worth less than flares. Sure. Why not? I'm creating, um... I'm creating a fad in Shady Sands. Everybody's gonna have a... Vault 13, um... Oh. Everybody's gonna have a Vault 13. So, uh, where are your parents? I don't know, around here somewhere. I would kill these people. I think I, I think I will kill these children. Just to get the gun. You shouldn't know what gun it is. Best weapon in the entire game. It's my favorite. I'll give you a hint. It's from a Christmas story. Best movie of all time. The Red Ryder BB gun. What I want for Christmas is a Red Ryder BB gun with a compass on the stock and a thing which tells time. Or something like that. It's a great movie. Okay. I think I will kill these children and get it. Or I can just get one from Junk Town. But, you know, killing children is more fun. <laughs> okay, so I have time to pass because I want to trade with uh, Rosalo. So I'm just going to read this book. So, did that. Are they open now? Or I can go read the other book. Okay. I need your help. No. Okay. I'll just go read the other book until morning. And I can talk to Ian too. I'll trade with all these guards later. And I think I can help the farmer. I think I have high enough science. Hopefully. There's a lot of children here. Okay. Talk to the farmer. Hello. What are you doing? Yes. You have all your... Yeah. 
crap rotation. Okay.